Hi, welcome to Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. The problem that we are going to discuss here will involve the resistivity, electron and hole mobilities, electron density and drift velocity. So without wasting time, let's start our problem. The problem is the intrinsic resistivity of germanium at room temperature is 0 0.47 ohm centimeter. The electron and hole mobilities at room temperature are 0 0.39 and 0 0.19 meter square per volt second respectively. So these units are meter square per volt second because the since we know that velocity drift is equal to mu into E. So from this we can get the mobility is equal to velocity drift divided by electric field. Therefore its unit is meter square per volt second. So I want to calculate now the density of electrons in the intrinsic semiconductor. Also, we will calculate the drift velocities of these charge carriers for a field of 10 kilovolt per meter. Okay, this is the unit of electric field. Okay, so let's see solution. Here it is given that resistivity, we have been given these uh, things that intrinsic resistivity is 0 0.47 ohm centimeter mobility of electron and mobility of holes are these okay since i know that resistivity is uh, inversely proportional to the conductivity so this is resistivity which is inversely proportional to the conductivity i stands for the intrinsic that is a pure uh, semiconductor if we add the impurities in the semiconductor then it becomes uh, extrinsic from the intrinsic okay so the conductivity the formula for conductivity is n i n is what n is the concentration of electrons okay in intrinsic semiconductor mu i is equals to 1 divided by n i q in bracket it is mu n plus mu p why it is so because the conductivity is given by q n mu n plus p mu p here mu n and mu p are the mobilities of electrons and holes n and p are the concentration of electrons and this is p is the concentration of hole and uh, this q is the charge of the electron 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and uh, since in, in any intrinsic semiconductor the n is equal to p that is the concentration of electrons is equal to concentration of holes which is equal to n i so in this formula i will replace n and p with n i so here i get this from this okay take out this n i common so it becomes this so all i need to do is just uh, replace the values in this formula on putting the values here it is rho i and 1 divided by this okay so from this i get n i is equals to 2.290 to 10 to the power 21 per meter cube this is the intrinsic concentration okay of charge carriers now we know that the drift velocity is given by velocity drift is equals to mu into e so for electrons if i want to calculate its drift velocity then we will take the mobility of electrons that we are given and electric field value is also we know that it is 10 so just uh, put the values here so i get 3.9 kilometer per second which is the drift velocity of electrons similarly i can calculate the drift velocity for holes velocity drift for holes is mu p into e electric field into the mobility of holes so we know the values mu p is given e is also given so i get 1.9 kilometer per second so here we see that the drift velocity of holes is uh, lesser than the drift velocity of electrons so this is all about the solution of this problem hope you liked it in the next videos we will see some more problems based on this topic and uh, we will also cover other topics too thanks for watching Friends, for more such videos, you can uh, subscribe my channel, Engineering Made Easy. And please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it. For more detailed information, you can uh, visit my blog, 
www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com its link is given in the description of this video you can check it see you soon in the next video till then bye bye